This is part 83 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to show or hide navigation menu items based on the logged in user role in ASP.NET Core MVC. Here is what we want to do. If the logged in user is in the admin role, then we want to display this menu item manage roles in the top level navigation menu. On the other hand, if the logged in user is not in the admin role, then we want to hide this manage roles menu item. This navigation menu is in our layout view. So let's flip out Visual Studio and open underscore layout dot CSHTML file. Notice the list and create navigation menu items are present right here. We want to display manage roles navigation menu item next to the create menu item. So we want this manage roles menu item to be dynamic, meaning we only want to display it if the user is signed in and if he is in the admin role. Otherwise, we want to hide it. To check if the user is signed in, we can use the ASP.NET Core built-in sign-in manager service. Now, if we take a look at our layout view, notice we are already injecting the sign-in manager service into this view using at inject directive. So let's use sign-in manager to check if the user is signed in. So right here where we want to display manage roles navigation menu item, first let's check if the user is signed in. So at f sign-in manager dot is signed in and to this method we pass the user object. In addition to checking if the user is signed in, we also want to check if the user is in the admin role. For that on the user object we have is in role method. To this method we pass the name of the role. In our case we want to check if the logged in user is in the admin role. If the user is signed in and if he is in the admin role, then we want to display our new navigation menu item, manage roles. So let's make a copy of this list item and then change the bits that are required. First, we want the text on the menu item to be manage roles instead of create. So let's change the text here. When we click on this navigation menu item, we want to take the user to list roles action within our administration controller. At the moment, I'm logged in using the username pregime at pregimetech.com and this user is in the admin role. So we see the navigation menu item manage roles. Now to confirm this user is in the admin role, let's click on manage roles navigation menu item. It takes us to slash administration slash list roles. Let's edit the admin role. Notice the user pregime at pregimetech.com is in this admin role but we don't have the user abc at pregimetech.com in the admin role so let's log out and log back in using the username abc at pregimetech.com and we know this user is not in the admin role so when we log in we should not see manage roles navigation menu item there we go we do not see manage roles menu item but we know the URL to get to the list roles action method is slash administration slash list roles. So what happens if we type the URL directly in the address bar? Well, as you can see, we are automatically redirected to slash account slash access denied because the logged in user abc at pregimetech.com is not in the admin role. Now, if we take a look at administration controller, notice it is protected using the authorize attribute. Only those users who are in the admin role have access to this controller and the action methods within this controller because abc at pregimetech.com is not in the admin role. When we try to access slash administration slash list roles, we are automatically redirected to slash account slash access denied. And at the moment, we see 404 error. That's because within our account controller, we do not have access denied action. So let's implement it now. Here is our account controller. In the end, let's include access denied action method. This is a public method, returns I action result, and the name of the method is access denied. We want this method to respond to HTTP GET, so let's decorate it with HTTP GET attribute. We also need allow anonymous attribute on this action because 
if a user is trying to access a protected resource, for example, list roles within the administration controller, and if he is not logged in, we do not want to allow access. Instead, we want to display access denied view to him. And it is this action method that returns access denied view. So we want all users, including anonymous users, to have access to this access denied action. So let's also decorate it with allow anonymous attribute. All this action method is going to do is return access denied view. We do not have this view yet, so let's add it to the account subfolder in the views folder. We want to add a razor view and the name of our view is access denied. Now, we want this view to look like this. We want this text access denied. You do not have permission to view this resource in small font and then this image. Here's the view code. We're using a div element and then this bootstrap class text center is going to center everything inside this div. We have this h1 element displaying the text access denied. h6 element displays this text. You do not have permission to view this resource. This bootstrap class text danger applies red color to the font. And then finally the image element pointing to no access.png inside images folder. And this images folder is present in www root folder. So notice within www root we have images and within this folder I already have no access.png. In the interest of time I'm going to paste the code that you have seen on the slide right here, save our changes and take a look at the browser. At the moment I'm logged in using the username abc at presumetech.com. This user is not in the admin role so we don't see manage roles navigation menu item. Now if I try to navigate to slash administration slash list roles by typing the URL directly in the address bar, notice now we see our beautiful access denied view instead of the 404 error. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.